"'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were sleeping and dreamed in their heads, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama with her blanket, and I with my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When up on the roof there arose such a clatter, I sprang out of bed to see what was the matter. Running to the window, I dashed in the dark, tore open the shutters, and gave my remark. The moon upon the edge of the fresh snow gave the glow of midday to objects below. When my wandering eyes looked upon eight tiny reindeer above the lawn, with their little old driver so sneaky and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Quicker than the flash, his little deer came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the reindeer flew up into the sky, they were met with obstacles but continued to fly. So upon the rooftop the little deer flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his toes, and his clothes were all worn with ashes and bows. A bundle of toys he had thrown on his back, and he looked like a giver just opening his pack. His eyes, how they shined, his smile so merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His cute little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The whiteness he held tight in his teeth, and the flash had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.